The 61st meeting between Muhlenberg and Moravian kicks off tomorrow afternoon at Rocco Calvo Field with game time and live coverage set for two sports at noon. The Greyhounds lead the all-time series 33-25-2 and come in with a record of just 2-7 while the Mules check in with a record of 7-2. Muhlenberg won last year's game by a score of 28 to nothing, but will be without starting quarterback Dan Deegan, who was injured a week ago in an overtime win against Ursinus. But senior Joe Carlucci seen here, who threw a touchdown pass in last year's win over the Greyhounds, will get the start. While the Mules may be the favorite, both coaches Jeff Puxton and Moravians and Mike Donnelly know you can throw the records out the window for this one. What we told our guys is that the regular season's over. This is a season unto itself. So we, you know, we can finish this season 1-0. And, and our guys are excited about it. We've had a great week of practice. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a great week for our seniors, too. They put a lot of hard work in for four years. And you want to send the seniors out in a good note and really get into the offseason with the rest of the group. Um, so the, the practices this, this week have been great because no one's worried about those first nine weeks. You know, it's all concentrated on one week and, and building as many memories as we can this week and, and finishing on a good note on Saturday afternoon. You can throw the records out when you get into a game like this, and uh, the highway is strewn with uh, wreckage of, of teams that thought all they had to do was show up. Uh, you know, we know that for a fact that it, it's it's nothing, nothing. The records don't matter. What you know, we know we're going to change quarterbacks, and they haven't. Uh, you know, so we know that things are going to change uh, for both teams this coming Saturday. So uh, it it really will be about which team is most ready to play and most physical. By the 10th game of the season, you know, Coach, obviously, you know, we should be ready to play by the 10th game, no matter uh, who we plan. And so, and that's the main thing he wanted us to do. It's just a, you know, just be relaxed, uh, have fun, um, study film, and you know, think how important this game between Muhlenberg and Moravian is. Yeah, we're real pumped up. I mean, for a lot of us seniors, this is going to be like our last game. So. Four years. I mean, all of us been playing kind of all our lives, so it's like the last week of practice, last game. I mean, we're ready to go out there and give everything we got for the last time. It's one of those things that like everyone's just like, man, I remember that. I remember how that felt to win against this team, or I remember how this felt. Like, it's just one of those things where like, no matter what happens, like this game means everything to everybody on the team, and it's just one of those times of the season that forget everything else, forget what happened, forget all the downs we had, just you're going to remember this game and this game is going to be the one that you hold with you for the rest of your life. As a senior, it, it, it definitely has the opportunity to do that, you know, to go out with a win and, um, you know, for the, uh, the freshmen, sophomores and juniors, you know, some momentum going into the off season, you know, just to end on a win and let alone, you know, it's, uh, it's Muhlenberg, so it's always, you know, it's always a fun game. Seniors have done a great job for me in, in keeping things going and, and having a great work ethic, and, and everyone else has bought into that. So, um, so that's been good week in and week out, and there has been a steady improvement uh, amongst positions and, and amongst you know offense and defense and special teams units. So, um, the process that we put in place at the beginning of the year certainly has uh, taken its necessary steps in getting to where we want to be. This is an ancient rivalry, and uh, although we're a Division Three program and. People tend to think about Auburn and Alabama and places like that that have great rivalries, Clemson and South Carolina. This is for our kids and for our alums, and uh, this is as, as big as it gets. And uh, so this is a huge, a very, very important game for us uh, for a lot of reasons. But uh, maybe the most important is it is our last game for our seniors. Uh, you know, they've four years have slipped by, and uh, they, it goes really, really fast. And, uh, so I'm hoping that uh, we, you know we go out there and, and have a great game on Saturday.